fine, huh? Welcome back to another edition of Gutter Fighting Secrets Freaking Tactical Tips. Today, I got my Muay Thai shirt on. I got my Muay Thai girl here. We're gonna do some freaking what? Muay Thai. So specifically, we're gonna be working on some Muay Thai knee stuff. Solo training drills. Now, I realized that all the stuff we do, get over here in the shot. Let these guys look at you. So all the stuff that we do, you know, it's great if you have a training partner. But if you don't have a training partner, you might say, well, I can't practice some of this stuff. Well, listen, I'm gonna show you guys how to do some solid freaking solo training on your own. We're doing Muay Thai today because I really was thinking deeply about this subject. I was on the Alpha 2 Delta podcast the other day, and we broke down kind of some of my training philosophy that has been instilled and distilled down to me from men who are much, much wiser about martial and combative arts. One of those philosophies is, hey, learn how to box and wrestle or kickbox and wrestle or kickbox and grapple before you start adding in the dirty stuff. Finger jabs, eye rakes, knee to the groin, whatever biting to the neck, whatever dirty street gutter stuff you wanna employ or deploy, it's always gonna be more effective if you have a solid foundation on grappling and striking. So that's what we're going to impart on you today, not to mention the fact that this is gonna be a killer cardio workout. So when you're doing this stuff, it's really gonna get you cardiovascularly in great shape. So let's get into it. I won't waste any more of your time with my spiels and speaking. All right, so today we're gonna to be teaching Jen a little bit about knee strikes on the head and neck. She's been going to the gym, she's been working the bag, and she said, I don't know enough to throw knees into the bag without feeling like an idiot. And I said, well, you might be an idiot, but you're certainly not gonna look like one. All right, don't hurt me. So today what we're looking at, guys, is how to throw knee strikes into the bag. So what we're gonna be doing is starting with the switch knees. You might also be aware of it. switch kicks. You guys, my kicks, they suck. My, they, they really suck, like they're terrible Muay Thai kicks. That's why I never throw those looping kicks. I always throw straight kicks. Uh, but with the knees, I've got very good knees. So the same principle as if we're throwing a switch kick, right? So we're in an orthodox boxing stance, hanging out, and we want to throw this front leg into this guy's rib cage or the side of his leg, right? So what we're going to do is we can't throw the like that, because it's awkward, right? And off balance. Yeah, you're off balance. Whereas my boys I instructor say, off balance. <laughs> what are you saying? Balance, balance, balance. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to throw a switch kick. So we're going to bring this back, but we're not going to do it like this and telegraph it. Otherwise, the guy knows a kick is coming. Mm. So what we're going to do is do it fast. So it's like, boom, it's a one, two, two, right? So. It's really fast, but what we're doing is we're taking our left leg yeah. and we're doing that. Exactly. Okay. Do it one more time. Okay. Boom. Exactly. So, I don't know if you can see that, guys. I'm sure you can. Basically, what we're doing is we're in an orthodox boxing stance, or if you're in South Paul, you can stand like that, whatever. But we're basically just taking our front leg, our forward leg, and doing a little switch. That's all it is. Boom. And you can do is like free practice that before you get started with the striking. Just spend a minute, two minutes. It's like skipping rope. Uh, you can do that and it's a, it's a great warm-up. So the next warm-up we're gonna be looking at, or what we used to use as a warm-up, was switching in the knees. So like with the lead knee, you can throw it from back here. What I like to do heavy bag, give it a little push, then I throw that knee knee, then an elbow or whatever, right? But if you're just gonna want to throw a power knee on this guy, can you really can you really get a lot of power? No, because if you're also it's, it's hard because then you have to move in too. Like, right, right, you're off what? But that's so so what you need to do is throw a freaking switch. Mm. And you switch your knee. Now this becomes a power knee. Boom! And you throw it real hard. So, wait, switch. Yeah, exactly. So all you're doing is making your forward knee your back knee. Right. Boom. Keep your hands up. Oh, right. Protect me. Protect, protect it. Yeah. Protect yourself. Okay. 
Boom, yeah, yeah, good. So what we're gonna be doing here with this drill, guys, is switch knee, switch knee, switch knee, switch knee, switch knee. Now this might take a little bit of practice to really get into, but the good thing about this is you can work this on a heavy bag, certainly, but if you don't have a heavy bag, you can also just work this on the wall, you can work this against the post, just don't throw your knee into the wall, don't throw your knee into the post, only knee it if it's a heavy bag or maybe you've got like a mat or something, a mattress you can put against the wall, sure, you can utilize that, but otherwise what we can do is, right here for example, we can put our hands up against here, switch, 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 switch. And we do that for like an hour, I'm sorry, <laughs> like two, a minute, two minutes, three minutes if you're really crazy, just to warm up before we really get into the heavy bag. So that's a great, great warm up. It really gets the heart rate going and it gets you practice when she wants to grab onto the back of my neck, switch. Okay, me? Yep, boom, okay. switch again. Boom, yeah, exactly. So you see the, the process that we're working with here is I'm in the clinch, I've got a tie clinch on the guy, I need to do that power switch, boom! And then right into, I mean, if it was a competition, into the ribs, into the belly, if it was the street, into the groin, even down into the leg. If you need someone, in the thigh, it can really hurt. Or if you give them a dead leg on the outside, you hit that nerve right there, boom, out, yeah. and my leg kind of goes a little bit dead. Will it take me out of the fight? No. Will it Will it be fucking annoying? Will I maybe, at that point, have something to limp on, limp on something to think about? Absolutely. So let's go ahead and do like 20 seconds of switch knees. What I want you to do is put your hands up against the bag. That way it's gonna do a couple of things. Like number one, it's gonna get you used to having them up here, right? Like a tie clench almost, right? You can't tie clench the bag, or you can put them here. Number two, it's gonna give you a nice gauge for your distance. Right? And number three, it's gonna get you used to having your hands up while you're fighting. Go. Switch, knee, switch, knee. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Just too slow. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Slower than that. Slower than that. Yeah, yeah. Even with the punching of it. Switch. Okay. There you go. Switch. Okay. Yeah. Give me 10 more on each side. Switch. One. Switch. Two. Switch. Okay. Switch. Yeah. Switch. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. Switch. 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 So, 
With this, it would look like worm clench, boom. Hey, hey, maybe when I try to throw knees, she's wise to it, right? Maybe she puts her foot kind of there and blocks it a little bit. Yeah, exactly, here. So I go, hey, up into the side, right? Now with this, all we're gonna do is the same thing. Switch so we get that power. Bring your knee around, around, around. All right, try it out. Stand over here so the guys can see. Okay, so then. And girls, I don't mean to be sexist. <laughs> That's right. Or whatever you want to be. <laughs> no, guys, I'm going to Wait, so. Just kidding, not really. So switch. Switch. Yeah, so try this side. Switch. Hey, good, good. Try doing a little more of a loop. So when we come here, uh -huh. it's looping around and boom, you're really kind of being sneaky about it. Yeah, there you go. And boom. self-defense, personal protection, whatever acronym you want to call it, but this really is one of the better drills that we can do for the streets on the bag. You know, other than just hanging around, making sure your double jab is crisp, all that, but if you really want to just get uh, aggressive workout in with some street fighting shit, this is going to be it. So knee, elbow, combo. Remember what I said about the front knee. Yeah. You need it to become what? The power knee. The yeah. power knee, exactly. So what we can do is switch, boom, then throw the opposite elbow. 
it's always going to be the opposite elbow, right? But, do it again. Oh my god! Oh, oh, where's your hands? Where's your hands, bitch? Don't hurt me, alright. <laughs> So what it's going to be is we're here in our orthodox boxing stance, right? Okay. Hands, glued to the chin, chin, top, left leg, uh -huh. forward, right leg, where? Slightly laying yeah. along, yeah. right? So we're here. Yeah. We don't really want to telegraph ourselves too much, right? We don't want to go, right. he'll, he'll back away, he'll come into you, he'll do something, right? So what we want to do, then throw that elbow. So just concentrate on throwing your switch hip or your switch lean. Boom. And then do the elbow. After you've already connected and laid it again, you're what? Balanced. Uh -huh. Throw that elbow. Then do the elbow. To make sure that you're protected. Exactly. Okay. So. So come over here. Oh, okay. Awesome. And then so. Switch. Boom. Oh, I gotta do this. Yeah, so it's no, not, no, always no, so side. tempting to throw the same side, same side. And right. I still fall into this trap myself all the time. But when we do it, right? Mm -hmm. Switch. Switch. Lean to the groom. Alright, so we land with that here for stable, right? Uh -huh. Even if he wants to try to shoot in or something, we can right. scroll. Right. We're stable, we're yeah. balanced. Mm -hmm. Now, we're gonna immediately, immediately after you connected with that knee. Throw it elbow into his jaw. Okay. So one more time. Uh -huh. Switch. Knee. Elbow. Okay. And we're utilizing that opposite elbow so we can get the torque, we can get the power. Right. Now we're doing same side, it would be a weak elbow. Right. And weak elbows don't do anything except piss the other guy, right? Right, right? Whereas boom, we throw our whole body weight into it. If we're throwing properly, we're sitting into it. We're throwing all of our weight. All of our centrifugal force into this elbow, maximizing this small area of our body into his, all of our body weight into one area. So just concentrate on that switch knee, keep your hands up. Switch knee, boom. There you go. Let's do two more of those. Switch knee. Boom. And then the elbow, one more. So we're going to work on your elbows, but for the guys and girls out there too, try doing some switch knee, elbow combinations, switch, elbow, and then what you can also do for the more advanced crew out there is do a lead knee elbow combination. So maybe this guy's got a little space on it. Maybe there's a distance here, right? Maybe I don't want to tell you guys too hard what I'm doing, but again, I've had, you know, six months, a year ago, and I know enough to know that I can throw a knee from here and also be able to kind of sneak it in and get him like that. So the lead knee becomes the, a, the lead knee becomes the striking knee, becomes the aggressive knee, it hunts for target, and then I'm able to strike with that elbow there. Uh, but you're not going to get nearly as much power as if you switch it, boom, down into there. So you can practice to switch knees, elbow, and then you can switch Elbow, switch, elbow, like do the opposite sides and get your brain working out as well. And then once you get a little practice with that, you can push him back. Lead me, elbow, just make sure that you cover up while you're striking because he's gonna be coming in at you. Give me that two more. really intimidates your opponent. All right guys, so leave a comment down below. Let Jen know how she's doing. I know a number of you guys have given her props, but she's come a long way from learning a little bit of gutter fighting to now starting with her Muay Thai journey and a little bit of boxing. Really is a fun thing. Get over here. Let the guys take a look. All right, guys, please remember until next time that you are your first and last line of defense and- Don't be scared, be prepared. You heard the lady.